Hello and welcome to this uh, fourth episode of this YouTube tutorial series all about UpNote, being effective with UpNote. Uh, this fourth episode this week is going to focus all about the sidebar and the note list and going through the the functions and the features that are available there. So as with most notes apps, as you can see here, uh, UpNote's got a fairly familiar layout with the sidebar here down the left, the note list here in the middle, and then this large area on the right hand side for the note itself. Um, a couple of basic functions of both the sidebar and the note list. First of all, they can both be resized as you would expect um, within an app of this kind. Um, you can also hide the sidebar and you can get rid of the note list as well. So hiding the sidebar you can do it by pressing this button here in the top left hand side of the screen that gets rid of the sidebar or there's a keyboard shortcut which is command shift backslash on a Mac or control shift backslash on a Windows PC and that will um, yeah that will get rid of the sidebar there for you as well. Um, one, whether the sidebar is hidden or not, to get rid of the note list you need to enter into focus mode which is either done by this button up here on the right hand side or as you can see there command shift F uh, on a Mac is the keyboard shortcut or control shift F uh, on, on Windows will do that. So let's have a look at the sidebar here, you can see you've got uh, all of these are minimized at the moment, all notes, quick access, notebooks, tags, templates and trash. So under the all notes is where you've got your list of all notes, everything, every note that you've got within UpNote and you've got a list of saved searches or saved filters under here. Um, so this in the note list here will show every single note you've got apart from those which are in the trash. The saved searches, it comes with four preloaded and they're listed here. So uncategorized is a bit like an inbox. Um, that just shows a list of any notes that haven't been assigned to a notebook yet. Um, this to do one shows any notes with uncompleted tasks in. Today shows any and all notes that you've edited today. So that's useful for seeing what you've been working on today, if that's something that you're interested in. And shared notes just shows any notes that you've shared uh, with other people via the, the share function, which I'll mention in a later video. Um, I'm going to talk uh, next week, actually, in the next video about searching and saved searches and filters and things like that. I'll go into that in much more detail. So the next list you've got in the sidebar is your quick access. Now, if you click on that in the note list, it brings up all of the a list of all of the quick access notes. These are all of the notes that you've clicked this little star button on or press that keyboard shortcut, command shift S or control shift S. Uh, this is a great list because it's in the sidebar all of the time to use for all of the notes that you need to use every day. Um, the key the keynotes that you need a lot of regular access to. As I said, you can add a note to that. Let's just do this one, although there's nothing in it. By pressing the star button, that adds it to the list. Uh, these are manually ordered, so you can order them however you want to, and then you remove it just by clicking that X button, and then it's gone. Uh, or, again, you, when you're in the note, you can click that little star icon in the top there. So those are your quick access notes. There's a should say there's a brilliant widget on Android and I believe on iOS as well um, that puts a list of these quick access notes on your home screen of your phone. So you can just press them and go straight straight into the note without seeing anything else there. Underneath that you have your notebooks list. Um, and as I've said before, these can be nested uh, on multiple levels. Now if you click the word notebooks it brings you to the notebook screen. Uh, you can view this either in a grid view uh, here or a list view. If you view it in a list view it just brings up all of the notebooks 
within their hierarchy. If you've got the grid view, then if you click that folder uh, button on the notebook, it'll bring up the notebooks underneath and then again, and then you can click back to get to all of them. Now, the reason why I show you that is because this is where you need to come um, some of the time because you can actually hide notebooks from your sidebar here. So if, say, for example, this get started notebook that's in your archive, you don't want to see it on your sidebar anymore, then you can hide it by just clicking hide from sidebar and then it's gone. And if you want to get that back, then you need to come back into this notebooks area and then simply open the notebook and it reappears in your sidebar. Um, so that is your list of notebooks available in the sidebar. Underneath that is your list of tags. Uh, this is a list of all of the tags you've got uh, within UpNote. Um, they're not in any... They're, they're here in the order that you create them. So as I've said before, if I wanted to create a new tag um, within a note, create new tag, that is going to appear, should appear at the top of the list here uh, in a moment. There it is, you see. Um, you can hide tags from the tag list on the sidebar. Um, you can order them however you want. So you can have your most frequently used ones at the top. And any that you don't use, as I said, you can hide it from the sidebar. Uh, just by clicking this option in the menu here. And then if you click on the word tags, it takes you to the tag screen. This is an alphabetical list of all the tags you've got. You can search through them in this search box up here. Useful if you've got lots of tags. And if you've hidden a tag and want to restore it, you can just right click on it. Um, oh, no, not right click on it, sorry. If you just click on the tag, it restores it to the sidebar. Um, underneath that you have templates. Uh, I will go through templates in a uh, in a later video in much more detail but here is where you can see a list of all of the templates you've got and you can edit them. So any edits you make in this uh, list of template notes will uh, be reflected in the templates as and when you apply them. And then you've just got the trash which is for all of the notes you've deleted and you can empty that uh, as and when you need to, it's self-explanatory. So in the middle here, as I said, you've got your all notes list. I'm just going to make that a bit bigger. Um, the first thing I want to show you within the all notes list is uh, the first thing that you'll see at the top is any sub notebooks or child notebooks within the parent notebook. So they're listed in the first section up here. Uh, you can turn this off in the settings. So if you go into the settings, you can show nested notebooks in the note list. If I turn that off, they disappear in the background there. If I turn it back on, then they're back. Uh, and that's true for every every level of nesting. Then underneath that, the nested notebooks, you'll see pinned notes. Now these are any notes within that notebook um, that you have pinned using this pin button or command control shift P and they go into this pinned notes list. That's true for any note list you have, so it's true for specific notebooks. The pinned notes are always at the top uh, it's true for um, lists of notes in, in all notebooks. It's true for your all notes list. And it's also true for any saved searches or filters that you have. All of the notes that have been pinned will be in this pinned notes section at the top of the list. Um, this is really useful in a project notebook, for example. So if I went to my, this is my demo account by the way but if I went to my launch launch a blog notebook or my write a book notebook then I can pin the actions uh, or the project plan notes to the top of the list 
meaning if you've got like 50, 60, 70 notes down here, they're really easy to see because they're pinned to the top. So I would recommend you only use this um, for the key notes uh, within your notebooks. Now, within this note list, you have a few display options which are accessed via this menu here. Uh, because this is a notebook, you can also see edit, that would edit the notebook or delete the notebook. We don't want that, but it's this one in the middle display that brings up these different options. So the first thing is sorting. So you can sort your notes in the note list. Uh, you can choose a custom option. And what that basically means is, is you can choose yourself where everything goes. You can just order it manually however you want it to be ordered. And then you've got the other options which are by the time the note was last updated, either having the newest first or the oldest first. You can sort them by the time the note was created, the newest first or the oldest first, and then alphabetically A to Z or Z to A. Uh, however you want to do that, it will sort all the notes in the note list. Um, this is uh, one setting that is true across the board, so it's not you, you can't set it for each individual notebook. Whatever you set it at, that will be what's true in your all notes or any of the saved searches or filters. But obviously you can change it as needed using this display options. Next, you've got display note timestamp and the compact notes list. Now I want to talk about these together. See, I prefer having the compact note list selected, uh, which means in the note list, you just see the note title. If you turn that off, you can see it gives you a bit more information. It gives you um, a timestamp, which I'll tell you about in a second. And it also gives you uh, the first little chunk uh, of content within the note. Personally, this isn't my preference because I don't need that much information in my note list, but you may want that. The timestamp um, that's shown, you can either select it to be none in which case it disappears, or the time the note was last updated, or the time and date that the note was actually created. Now, most of these are notes that I created today for this video, so that's not particularly useful here, but if you've got a lot of notes that you've created over a long period of time, that might be useful. As I said, um, I don't, that's not my preference, so I'll turn that off. And then the last option down here is show notes from nested notebooks in the parent notebook. Now, what that means is, is because I'm in my project notebook and there are notebooks underneath it, then every single note from within all of these nested notebooks is going to be displayed in the note list for this parent notebook. If I turn that off, then as there's no notes whatsoever within my main project notebook, then there's no notes in this list and I have to go into the actual project to see them. Now, <coughs> it can be useful to have this off most of the time so you're not getting confused about which notes, uh, which notebooks notes are in, but I do find it particularly useful when I'm looking at projects uh, in my main UpNote account because, for example, I can see all of the action note notes from all of my different projects all grouped together, meaning if I want to review the status of all of my different projects, then I can very quickly, uh, just from this main parent notebook, go down the whole list of all of my action notes and see what's done, what's not done, and what needs to be done. And that's it. There you have it. That's your sidebar. That's your sidebar over here and your note list and all of the different things that you can do. Now, as I said, the next episode of this series being effective with UpNote is going to focus on search and what you can do with that. So please do click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel if you want to see that. And if you have found this valuable, then please do like this video and share it with anyone else you think might find it valuable. Click the subscribe button that should be on the screen now. There's lots more to come in this series. And there should also be a link uh, on the right-hand side of the screen to the last two videos in this series as well. That's uh, to do with um, notes and the note editor and how to create notes and notebooks within UpNote. So please do check those out now as well.